something very interesting to me happened at the Charlo Castano to presser. Let's uh, talk about it. Okay, first of all, let me make something very clear. This is not a U.S. versus Argentina thing. I'm really thankful. No, yeah, it is. It is. It's a John Law. I'm oh, really thankful for the Mel, you would think from the crowd he may have an advantage this time around because there will be so many of us. USA! 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 Y'all think we in? We humble? Yeah. You in America? We humble? We humble? We humble? Drew Titan, Bronx on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Footage was taken from uh, our brother Champ Side. Salute to the baddest brand of the land. Make sure you go subscribe to Champ Side on all social media Instagram, YouTube. Wherever he got out, go support the baddest brand in the land. That's the family right there. Um, that was footage taken by him, and I, I was watching it, and I said, Whoa. Nobody even don't want you here, is what that woman said. Nobody don't want you here. Whoa. Whoa. Nobody don't want you here. You know, when this, when the dust would settle on this, I would totally find her and just ask her, young lady, or old woman, whoever she was, I don't know. What did you mean by that? What exactly did you mean by that? I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that that woman was Argentinian or of, you know how it is. She's probably American or of Argentinian descent. Maybe her parents or grandparents are from the country. Or she could be from there and just speaks English very well. I don't know. You know, um, all I know, that was a white woman screaming that. Nobody don't want you here. But I'm just curious, um, what made her say that? He said, USA, USA. This is after Brian Custer. Salute to Brian Custer. I like Brian Custer. He said, you know, basically he was like, you know, it seems that Castano has the momentum. Basically, even on this soil, he had, a, he had more support in that room which prompt jamel to start saying usa 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 now let, let's let's just cut to let's just cut to the chase here he start he didn't start pounding on his chest talk about blacks this and blacks that he didn't say that he said usa 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 now let me say this to y'all um, y'all know me personally. Y'all know me. Y'all watch my channel. Y'all know me. When when the Charlos do something stupid, I'm on their bumper. Because I believe as black athletes, 
as athletes, period, as black men, we should be held to a higher standard. We should act accordingly. And they do and say a lot of things that I did not agree with. So I hold them accountable. And when he got on here, I didn't see anything wrong with him saying USA, USA in response to Brian Custer asking him that question. It seems that Castano has more support. That's basically what he was saying. And that's when he started saying USA, USA. And, you know, a, a, a response is the Argentinians in there. Argentina, Argentina. And that's fine. And they started singing the song or whatever it is they sang over there, which is fine. But that woman with that remark, nobody don't want you here. I would love to ask her, what did you mean by that? First of all, are you American? Okay, so you're American. Now, she more than likely lives here. I would ask her to elaborate. What do you mean nobody don't want you here? What did you mean by that, lady? Huh? These are the things, because I know what I heard. This is why I'm doing this damn video. I know what I heard. Nobody don't want you here. Hmm. What do you mean by that, miss? She fired a shot. I know what it is. That's why he responded, you know, and, and people are going to pick on the response. No. He said, don't nobody want you here. Okay, great. So what did you mean, miss? What? He's black. Nobody wants him here. And you know what, miss? You might be right. I want to see how many Americans get J Jamel Charles back. Because he's going for undisputed. Another black fighter. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's remove black from it. Another fighter is going for undisputed. An American fighter is going for undisputed. Okay? You got two American fighters about to go for undisputed. Why is that not big news? You got Jamel Charlo, American fighter, going for undisputed. Why is that not news? Not big enough news. And in the midst of all of that, you have this woman who I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to assume that she's American or has a green card to be here because her English is really good. Why would she say nobody wants you here? Nobody don't want you here. She knows what she was saying. I know exactly what you I know exactly what you meant, miss. I know exactly what you meant. And will it show who's going to be rooting for Jamel Charlo? Can boxing media say, you know, look, bring it home, Jamel? We like Castano. Great fight, but bring it home. I'm riding with the American. Is anybody saying that? I'm not on Twitter. I, I'm not on Twitter. Is anybody going to say that? Hey, man, y'all do me a favor. Um, Look up, um, uh, I don't know, any one of those guys from old media, Dan Raphael, uh, Dougie Fisher, uh, Steve Kim, or uh, Rick Glasser. What are they saying about this fight? Are they rooting for the American? Or are they just being, oh, I'm just in it for the fight. I just want to see a great fight. Huh? Hey, man. Which Charlo said, hey, man, nah, Deontay just got his ass whooped. Huh? Huh? Rick Glasser ain't one of these Charlos your friends for saying, nah, he just got a, Deontay got his ass whooped. Are you getting Jamel's back? Because if, if it was Jamal, I forgot who said it. If it was Jamal who said it, this is his twin brother. Are you saying, yes, go ahead, bring it home for America? Because y'all do know Rick Glasser is MAGA, right? So here you got, you have Jamel Charlo banging on the table, USA, USA, USA. You have this woman in the audience saying, nobody don't even want you here. What do you mean? I'm asking. I didn't mishear you. I'm going to play it again. I didn't mishear you. I want to know what did you mean? Like, and this is what I'm talking about. A lot of foreigners come to this soil and still think they take priority over a black American. We are the most disrespected race in the world. So when I speak of a code, this is what I'm talking about. 
How how many Canelo fans are rooting for Castano tomorrow? Listen to what I just said, y'all. How many Canelo Alvarez fans are rooting for Castano tomorrow? And Canelo has nothing to do with this. But how many of those fans are going to be watching this fight rooting for Castano? Think about what I'm saying. We can't control these fighters' fan base. But let's not act like we don't know what it is. Let me play it for you again. Okay, first of all, let me make something very clear. This is not a U.S. versus Argentina thing. I'm really thankful. No, yeah, it is. It is. It's our law. I'm oh, really thankful for the Mel, you would think from the crowd he may have an advantage this time around because there will be so many of USA! 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 Y'all think we in? We humble? Yeah. You are the first to be humble. Salute the champ side for being in the right place at the right time as usual. No, I'm not looking too deep into this. I know what I heard. I know what I saw. Ask yourself, how many Canelo fans are rooting for Castano? Remember, Castano fought to a draw, and he got the FaceTime call from uh, Canelo. Not Jamel, who was in the same ring, same time. Who got the call, y'all? We already know what it is. There it is. Y'all know I hold Jamel and Jamal accountable. But I'm on code. I'm rooting for him tomorrow. Bronx on deck. Move!